Does liverwurst go bad overnight? Because if it does, you'd never be able to tell from the taste. Who the hell are you? Good morning, Archie. Hello, sunshine. You know this guy? Sergeant Archibald Sparks, meet Dick. Vic. Vic Trowbridge. Hello, Vic. Did you do call this guy up last night when I was in the shower? Archie, did I call you last night while he was in the shower? No, sunshine. Your reputation for playing hard to get remains intact. Good, because I'd hate for this to be awkward. Who are you people? Military police. Deserter apprehension unit. Meredith Cole, deserter apprehendee. You're a soldier? Not in my book. Get dressed, Corporal. Sure, Sarge. Hey, sweetie, Vic, would you put on a pot of coffee? Coffee? <laughs> Lady, go fuck yourself. <laughs> I'm just gonna put something on. Good idea. she pick you up? I picked her up. She's a new bartender over at Artisans. It's a bad area. She asked for a ride home. <laughs> yeah, right. She knew I was on to her. She needed a place to hold up. So what'd she do? Why'd she run? Shut your eyes, let the world 
say to darkness You could be the one to shake the thing shot on it for sure forever Guys, I know it was last minute. Mm. All right, tell your folks I said hi, and I hope your dad's feeling better, okay? Thanks. Merry Christmas, guys. Bye. That speaker should have been fixed hours ago. Holidays aren't the time to relax the work ethic. Uh, Danny, Merry Christmas. Have another nine hours. Ooh. I see someone skipped his serving of holiday spirit. When they told you to get a room, no one meant the bathroom. Just having one for the road, Captain. God. And here, not that you deserve it, a nice Christmas bonus. Comprende Christmas bonus. You think I'm trying to cheat you? El Paso Juarez, por favor. Oh, you want a ticket? Sí, uno. So, okay, almost. Um, the any good, you think? You don't have like wrapping paper, Christmas tape, you know, like just something like that. A, a Christmas card. Oh, hey, Polly. You caught any fresh in the woods yesterday? Yeah, well, I'll take a cup anyway. I'll be home before you wake up. Until then, Miss Dorothy's in charge. And, and she's right. You can't have ice cream for dinner. Thank you very much. Honey. Damn it. Piece of shit. Waste them. Thank you. Hey, support. Wait your turn, please. Yeah, I just need to know if this crate is going deeper into or all the way out of Texas. Well, you can inquire yeah. inside. Listen, pal, I don't... Fucking Texas. Oh. Honey, what? No, baby, Santa can't bring you a dog. We already have one. I know he smells, but... Well, boy dogs do that sometimes. Wait, hold up. Honey, I'll call you later, okay? Love you. Let's go. Story of my life, sweets. <sighs> Alhamdulillah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. My name is Daniel Gunn. I'll be your driver for this part of the trip. Our next stop is Peccadillo, Texas. That's about six hours from here, so settle back, relax and enjoy Christmas Eve with us.
good slot. Mm. Lavender. Which is great if they shower after they check in, but if they wait till morning, they, they need something more citrus, more... Peppy? Exactly, which is why we created the sunburst line. Boy, Stevie. It's very Christmassy. Think it's inappropriate? No, it's just it's last minute. Oh, last minute's good. I'm usually late, so. You remember to buy batteries? Nobody gives a damn about the effort as long as the toy works. That her? It is. Saw a board of bus by now before your alert come through. Didn't think the army put much effort into reeling in the runners. Nah, most wander in on their own or get picked up for doing something stupid, like running a red light, shoplifting. And Cinderella Hill? Her grandfather's a senator. Embarrassing. Only if she isn't found. Granddad a vet? Four deferments. Mm. Dick Cheney Brigade. Why'd she run? Doesn't matter. You know, uh, it's Christmas Eve, Sergeant. Working awful hard to find this little girl. <sighs> Eggnog gives me gas. Nasty stuff. Not something a man should be drinking alone. been out. Excuse me? You're Manolos. Where are you stationed, Iraq? You think I'm military? Alhamdulillah. You're not military. Colburn International Trucking. Nine months in Baghdad. You call, we haul. You drive the six? What's the six? The last six miles into Baghdad Airport. It's the most dangerous section of road in the world. Our driver here is Mad Max. Everybody hang on! CPR. 
check that one. I'm not getting a signal. Can anybody get a signal? Out of area. Nine months in Iraq. French dying all around me. I never even blew a tire. Hey, easy, fella, easy. We're gonna get you some help. We're gonna get you some help. Hey, put the gun down. Rat 
tight, okay? as you think I am. Put it away.
that. Yeah, right, I'll do it. Coach, what's your name? Yarbrough. Jerry Yarbrough. How many rounds do you have left in there, Jerry? Here, let me see. Mr. Yarbrough, maybe you should let her see it. You know, she's training. No, it's okay. We'll do the math. That weapon holds 13 rounds. After Biker Boy reloaded, he fired once at this guy, once in the air, and once at you, leaving 10 shells. He didn't fire at me. Yeah, he did. No, he didn't. Check your collar. Now, you've capped off four shots so far, Jerry. You've expended 40% of our ammo, and you haven't hit a thing. Well, he bought us some time to get to that fence over there. You should give me that weapon. Yeah, find your own. Wait! Wait, they're leaving! Maybe your shots did scare them off. What do you say now, soldier? He's not running, you jackass. What is, what is he doing then? He's going for reinforcements. I'm okay. I'm, uh, you know, except for, uh, you know, uh, being shot at. Tell me about your son. His name is Stevie, right? How old is he? Four. He's four. He likes army stuff? Like that toy set you got him? Yeah, he likes, uh... Give me a job. I'm, I'm pretty useless as a human being. I mean, 
when Carol got pregnant, I just kind of... You ran? Yeah, I ran. So you're going back now? Does Carol like Christmas surprises? Yeah, her and her, uh, new husband, homecoming, and, uh, I got them a gift, too. What is it? I bus stayed home. What's your name? Sam Cotter. Meredith Cole. Text out. Just sitting out there. What are they doing? Hey, honey. Look, I got this stuff. It takes it off. Here, honey. calar las luces. Mira, mira. ¡Ah, frega! ¿Las luces? You should see these guys running out here. They're like a bunch of roaches. <laughs> Keep your head down, rabbit. Shooting out the lights, that's good. They're saving the ammunition for us. Con esto. Esto podemos hacer un cañón. Un, un cañón. Boom, boom. Para defendernos. I'm sorry, I don't speak Spanish. Do you speak Spanish? No, I don't speak Spanish. I'm sorry, I should have learned it in high school. But I, Lo que I necesito es algo para despacharlo. Para prenderlo. Uh -huh. No tienen... It's a paint. Ay, no me entienden. Déjame ver, déjame ver. No, no lo tienes. How about this? No, eso no tiene nada. Yo lo hallo. Yo lo busco. Aquí tienen, aquí tienen. I don't know what you're doing, but, but keep on doing it. You could help, you know. Oh, you want my help, baby? Okay. When built on a barricade... Probably not smart to use things that explode. Does that help you? She'll cool down. If she cools down anymore, she's gonna give me frostbite, man. Here. Thank you. Thanks.
I got him. I think I got him. You missed. Dude duck behind that oil tank back there. Is everybody okay? Sound off. Sam? Yeah, we're okay. Coach? Yeah, you're okay. Rabbit? Bite me. Sheena? Her name is Desiree. Shut up, rabbit. Yeah, I'm good. How many are back there? Look what I found back here. See you right there. What's going on? Creepy in here. It's kind of beautiful. Be careful. Refrigerators. There's gonna be another one right there. How do you know? Well, because that's where I'd be. We got good cover, open fire on our barricade, and then half the yard. Are you like a hunter or something? I'm a 12th tier dark elf ranger. What? I'm tournament rated in archery. Okay, have you ever heard of the Meth Alliance? Video game conventions? And the streaks are going around the woods dressed as wizards? Well, they're not all exactly that different than the freaks that dress up as Civil War soldiers and pretend to slaughter each other. But yeah, that's the idea. Um, well, I was actually on my way to California for a dark elf archery competition. So the, the archery thing, the... Yeah, technically known as a bow. It's, um, it's back on the bus with the rest of the luggage. And you're a tournament rated dark elf. Yeah, but that means I'm a competitive archer. I shoot at targets, not at people. I'm not well, gonna... These, these guys, animals, they're not people. Come on, let's go find the rest of them. Come on. Come on. Okay, pal. Sorry, man. I'll leave you to it. Have a Merry Christmas. Say hello to Mrs. Freak and all you little freakettes. This is us. We'll just call them Dasher, Dancer, and Prancer. They're over here by this barn. Vixen's by that pile of fridges out there. Um, Comet, Donner, and then here covering the road between the gate and the office is Blitzen. You skip one. Cupid. Cupid went for help. I'm surprised they haven't tried to burn us out. 
They're afraid to. Fires can be seen a long way off. No. They're waiting for the rest of the pack to arrive. They're gonna want to share us. You know these assholes? Look, I dated a biker for a while. He said crews like this, nomads. They're like locusts. Most of them, they're just permanently wired on crystal meth. They nest in the area for a while. They strip it for whatever they need. Food, fuel, money, women. Then they move on. Look, my boyfriend, he did a nick on Conley. He didn't break a sweat. He was scared of nothing. But these nomads, they would scare the shit out of them. So we play defense until help comes. We run out their clock. Yeah, I mean, someone's got to come looking for us sooner or later, right? No. Our next stop was supposed to be Picadillo, Texas. When we don't check in there, they'll come looking for us. We can hold out that long. Would you just listen to me for a second? We won't hold two minutes if they try and rush this place. You prefer the bus? Because that worked out so well for the college chick and Mr. Shampoo Man. Hey, you're the reason we're on this road, coach. We can hold. Would you just shut the fuck up? Pardon my language. But Picadillo wasn't an official stop. If we don't show up there, they'll just think we stopped somewhere else for gas and food. Our next official stop is El Paso, 300 miles further. Which means they won't even know we're missing for like six hours. Yeah, by then, our Mr. Cupid will be back with every freak biker in the state. Uh, uh, you're the expert, I and mean, what do we do? <laughs> She's a kid. How do we know she didn't spend her tour scrubbing toilets in Ohio? What do we do? I already told you. Don't stop. What was it you saw in him? It made me laugh. <laughs> Intentionally. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, nothing. I just sometimes draw. I, um, I do caricature sketches, make a little extra cash on the side. I draw graphic novels. Can I say? Um, it's nothing really. It's just... I, I, I'd love to see it, though. No, it's, it's really nothing that important. It's just sort of mindless doodling. And... Matt. So where are we? Here? The Sphincter of Texas. The nearest town is 40, 50 miles away. Yeah, no, 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 but look, there's um, there's a highway southeast of here, and it's, it's only like 19, 20 miles away, so. You want someone to run 20 miles across open country to a line on a cartoon map? Hell, that road probably doesn't see traffic more than once a month. And who's going to make that run? I will. I run. Dashing between soccer games and PTA meetings doesn't count, lady. I run charity marathons for breast cancer, for leukemia. I can run. On the street, during the day, with people handing you water. We're talking about terrain unsuitable for frilly skirts and high heels. You think I'm an idiot, Mr. Yarbrough? Do you think I don't know that? I think we can hold this place. No, we can't hold. We can't just sit here. Somebody's got to get out of here and get help, and I am going to go. I'm telling you. Hey! Get off those anger management class is not working for you, coach. We can hold this place. Can't hold. How am I going to get past all those idiots out there? No. No, 
No, Sam, that's a really bad idea. I can't shoot an arrow into a person. I'm vegan. It... A bow and arrow, Sam? You work for Robin Hood. Robin Hood didn't have a pack of psychotic freaks shooting bullet holes in his tights. You really think Annabelle can do this? It's worth a shot. Is that chick still out there? No. She's gone. for neat is there. Move your ass. Sam, come on, look up. Look up. Sam, look up. Shit. Smart ideas. You think they saw me? Saw you? Did you just show these bastards how to get inside? They compromised their security for what? For this? The walkies hawkies, I thought they might come in handy, dickhead. Hey, you two, just stop it. What made you decide to rescue my laundry? I don't know, I thought you might have something useful. <laughs> just some gym clothes and some dirty underwear. Here. For when you get out. Thank you. Ay, ay, eso, eso, la cámara, la necesito. Por favor, dámela. Ah, sí. Con esto puedo acabar el cañón. Illiterate, illegal, and a freaking lunatic.
serio? You guys know I can't do this, right? I can't kill anyone. Yeah, you can, honey. You ain't that special. doing on a bus in the middle of nowhere on Christmas Eve. I was at my sister's funeral. I'm a single mom, you know, so I, uh, I didn't want my kids to travel, you know, this close to Christmas and all. Good thing they weren't on that bus. Your sister, uh, she had cancer? Yeah, my sister, mama. Me? Breast cancer. These are my girls. That's Gracie and Emma. They're beautiful. Yeah. So I run. I'm all they got. Here. Just in case, you know. Yeah. I understand. Hey. Whatever happens, you don't stop. It's something I learned from the convoy drivers in Iraq. Okay. I'm sorry about whatever happened to you over there. Hey. I, um, I brought you your flashlight. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna need that. Yeah. I uh, also brought you this. <laughs> in case I run into any rubber bad guys? No, it, it, it has a, a compass on the hill. Oh. Do you know how to read a compass, Maudie? Yeah, I'm a Girl Scout leader. Oh, this is for you, from your friend. Go Stallions, right? You a praying man, Mr. Yarborough? Only on Friday nights. Kick off in halftime. It's Friday night. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Tractor. Any chance I, I might just sneak past them? Yeah, but if they catch you, they're gonna, you know. <sighs> I told Sam, I told you all, I can't do this. I'm not gonna do this, Marty. I can't do this. I can't shoot someone.
he hasn't seen her yet. Hit him. Hit him. Go, shoot! I can't! Him. What's happening? Your princess just let her friend die. Tell her to fire. Tell her she has to fire. It's okay. No, it is, honey. You did what you had to do. Was that the first you ever? No. Gets easier, right? something.
body. Well, what should we do? Nothing. She's running. She'll either get caught or she won't. Damn. That was cold. She said you made her laugh. Everyone I was trying to. How long were you two together? Three days. Somehow, it seems worse than if we had just been strangers, I guess. We were on our way down to Vegas, and she was going to deal cards, and I was going to get a job in one of those singing wedding chapels. I guess somehow I always figured I was going to screw it up somehow. Amigos, vengan. Vengan, ven, ven. Mira. Ay. Lo siento mucho. Thanks. Mira. Ya cabe el cañón. Con esto nos podemos defender. Mira, aquí, aquí está la cámara. He had it podemos again? Podemos defender. Yeah, but... Son of a bitch. What, do you understand now? Para defendernos, sí. Yeah, I mean, no, I, I think I do. It's a spud gun, right? Spud gun? Anybody know how to say potato in Spanish? Patata, patata, papa, es una, aquí. What the hell's a spud gun? I remember a kid on my block used to make these things. Basically, you just take a chunk of potato, stick it in the barrel, and put anything flammable at the end. Patata, boom. Yes, yeah, sí, boom, boom, boom. So flammable, like gasoline? No, we used, um, uh, uh, si, si, okay. Hairspray, we used hairspray. Si, si. First arrows, not potato cannons. What's next, a BB gun? I don't know, these things will shoot anything you put in them. You put nails down there, rocks, whatever. Yeah, but where are we gonna get hairspray from? Screw hairspray. We've got ether, starter fluid. Si, 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 aquí. Y luego, boom! down into the right. You need to elevate the barrel if you want to take out those bikes.
What about you? I know where this motherfucker's going. Soldier, we held.
Seven when I left. Seven. Meredith Cole? She's hurt, but she's tough. You know her? I've been trying to catch up with her. At the end of this road, turn south. There's, uh, there's like a little town 10, 20 miles back. We can call this in. They'll be dead before we get help. Sun's coming up. Yes, ma'am. Possibly, ma'am. What do you think? Run. You're busted up, soldier. You wouldn't make it 100 feet. Not me, the rest of you. Just leave me the shotgun and a couple of Molotovs. No, we're not. Get out of here. Why, so they can hunt us down and kill us one by one? Coach, we can hold. Duke. Senor. Annabelle. Yeah, I'm good for another two or three, but then after that, you boys are going to have to start pulling your weight with the rest. Let's do this. Ready. What does that mean? Something the Iraqis used to say. When they drove a dangerous stretch of road, praise be to Allah for getting my ass back in one piece. I'll be seeing you, Sam. You got a name? No, el nombre. Así. Ramón Amancio Eladio Vargas. Took these off our dead scumbags. Señorita, señorita, ven. You made arrows? Flechas.
I got a boss. That made me suck. Vargas, he's in surgery. They're they're optimistic. So, Vargas, Vargas is a good name. Yeah. Look, I'm sorry. The sergeant, he didn't tell me he was hunting you. It's okay. I understand you had a really big knife at the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These hospitals, they kind of give me the creeps. So. You'll have to wait here. Your girls are here.
better, Sergeant. Eggnog sucks. I spoke to the doctors. They want to keep you. But I'm satisfied you're tough enough for travel. Thanks, Sarge. You know how much I hate hospital food. You'll be cuffed and taken to Fort Bliss where you'll be formally charged with desertion. The corporal, the woman that these civilians talk about, isn't the one that I know. So you had to tell them about her? Why you ran isn't my concern. Personally, I think the captain deserved it. But I don't make those calls. Get dressed, Corporal. You've got about uh, 20 minutes before the uh, car from Bliss gets here. Archie. Merry Christmas, sunshine. Don't stop. Alhamdulillah. <laughs>